Hello, and welcome to Really Big Hat. My name is Jared, and today we are playing some more Humankind, playing a food challenge. So, last we left off, we had reached the Classical Era as the Celts, which are an actual agrarian civilization. So, that's nice. And, yeah, I think we're doing okay on growth so far. We've got 14 on our capital, 9 down here, and just a measly 3 down here. But we will be growing, and this is a pretty recently founded city, so. Yep, there we're growing. Okay, I think I was coming down to take this territory, if I remember correctly. Because, yeah, there's some iron there, so yeah. Okay, there's like a 9-11 down there. That seems like the best spot, probably. And we're still gaining population. Which is good, because that's our challenge. Okay, somebody else is the Nazca, and... Oh, look at that. There's... There's a poison there why are you here he's hesitant okay uh and then yeah that's uh, an independent people i don't know if they're actually aggressive or not i haven't seen their capital maybe i can well i'll just have this army hang out right here actually i was gonna say i could maybe go scout a little bit with them, but I'm just going to have them hold back for, for a moment. Uh, bountiful. Ooh, 50% food. And then, yeah, those other... Let's let's get that. <laughs> We're doing a food challenge. We ought to challenge ourselves to get some food. Got bronze working. Alright. Okay. Uh, food on dry grass. I mean, that's food. Are any of these other ones going to be war support, unit experience, science, industry? Yeah, I think we will go for observe fasts here and get some food. Get some food. I wonder how much that actually affects us. Like, how much of our stuff is dry grass? Okay, so, like, this stuff is down in this city. So that, that works. And, yeah, it's dry grass down here. So that's pretty good. Pretty good for us. We've Listen got... Very okay, he wants yes, to trade everything? Sure. The benefit. Sure, we can, we can be friends. I mean, I don't really have any strong designs on this land down here that you're claiming. I guess I could probably maybe claim these these two areas and just draw that line in the sand once and for all. That's probably a good idea. I might as well get some uh, get some expansionist stars from the process perhaps. I wonder if the city's going to have the stability to be able to attach all of that though. Hmm. I could I could make this a fourth city, but then that would leave this one as a one-territory city down here. And I probably don't want to do that. For now... For now, I will just attach one here. That did hurt our stability quite a bit. Oh, and there was a... There's a saffron deposit over there that I didn't see until just now. I could have been... Okay, actually, how much is that to buy out? 525? Let's do that. Let's get that online right now. Still working on the Hanging Gardens. Okay, influence on territories if they're following our religion or five faith and grievances. Uh... I don't think I really need either of those, but I'll probably go for 
Okay, open-minded. Yeah, that gets me towards food. That gets me towards food. Let's do that. Yeah, for leadership here, we can also afford it. Um, yeah, this is one that ironically both of them would give me a city cap, and this would also give me stability on the capital, so I think I'll go for that. Let's see, independent peoples. Probably cheaper treaties would be. Yeah, and that'll get us all the way to 10% food. Religious rights. Uh cheaper religious district industry cost. I wonder if that applies to our unique that technically counts as a religious district. We had a bunch of influence saved up, so I was kind of figuring, why not now? Did he have any luxuries? He does. He has gemstone and ebony. Four times. Let's see if we can't. Okay, that costs four sixty-eight. Let's not do that. But we'll get some ebony. That'll help with a little bit of stability, I believe, and just having access to more uh, resources. Okay, why don't you guys go stand on that one, since I feel it's the most exposed. Uh, I guess I could attach here. Again, we're still fighting back, but once the Hanging Gardens are built, are they being built here? No, they're being built up there. I don't know if that stability bonus applies universally or just in the city it's built in. I think it's just the city it's built in. Well, yeah, I think I would rather get one of these out. That'll cost us some stability, but... Well, maybe I could attach. Hmm. Right now, it's minus 20 from number of attached territories. I wonder what that'll take it to. I don't know. I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm gonna wait. Because we can get, uh... We can get Palisades in here that'll offset... That Nematon. And then we could work on stuff like, uh, like these infrastructures, potentially. Those are all worth a little bit of food. Oh, how many turns has it been since I've done this? Seven turns left. Knowledge authorities. We can either get science per researchers or science on resources being sold. I think we'll go for the resources. We are trading with somebody, and I would like to keep that up. Plus, most of our slots are going to be food and industry, because we're going to be focusing on city growth just about everywhere. There's organized warfare. How is our tech progress looking? Okay, we're still going for the wheel and sailing, which I do want. I also want masonry, because we have people to spend. Like, that's going to be our challenge. And then we'll get up towards standing army to get to our unique. Fortifications for that extra stone walls. Definitely want hydrology for that aqueduct. Um... I think those are all the must-haves right out of the gate. I think the next thing to go towards would be maybe Imperial Power, actually. There's an Agrarian Star. Love to see those. How close are we to the Hanging Gardens? Three turns out. We're almost there. Okay, somebody else is in the Classical Era. Gaining more population. Good, good, good. 
add even more population. Excellent. Okay, we can either get patriotic, ferocious, or cheaper army upkeep. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the unit industry cost. Because I might be building some more units pretty soon. I want to have some armies around just as a deterrent. There's the wheel. Okay, we built a wonder. Solid, solid, solid. Let's see if there's any other really good ones. Um, oh, that's food per adjacent farmer's quarter. And food on territories, districts, and exploitations. That's pretty good. I don't see any of these other ones being better for food. Yeah. No. Let's, let's take that. I, we won't build it right away, but let's definitely take that. Okay, and how's our stability in here? It's still going towards 61. Oh, and we can uh, gain two people here. We'll steal one from another city, and we'll gain one... You know what? I'll wait a turn, since we're about to gain a population anyway. Uh, up here, let's get to work on one of these. Oh yeah, 24 food. That's awesome. 22. Let's do that. Yeah, and we definitely need to get more worker buildings down so that we're not over our population limit. That's something we're going to have to be constantly keeping an eye on. Okay, so since we just gained a person down here, now let's do this. Gain two more. Well, technically one more overall, because one of them came from here. But still, that's, that's growing this city and our empire. And we're still going down to 61. But, yeah, we'll get back up with some palisades. I think as soon as we get those palisades, I'll attach another outpost. Okay, somebody trading for some more of our resources. Getting close to an Estate Star, getting close to a Scientist Star. We do need one more for an Expansion of Star, but I'm just waiting to pull the trigger on that, so that's, that's just gonna happen here. A couple of turns, as soon as I get the walls in here. There's Sailing. And back up here, uh, I can build a copper mine. Might as well get on that. Any really good harbors? There's a plus 11. That's not really good. Uh, I could go for the public fountain. That gets us better growth speed. And in the meantime, since it does appear that we are well over our population limit in here, I'll probably start in on an army. Uh... Let's just go with a couple of warriors and a couple of archers, like the other one. Just... That'll lower our population in here, and it'll give us another army to... have. Just... just to have, probably. I might go attack them sometime or another. I might not. I might just wait them out. Honestly. Because, uh, like I said, I do want this territory. Uh, and I might make it another city. I might, like, bring the capital up here and then maybe over to that island. And then make these three another city. And then I guess this could go either here or there then. We shall see. Oh, we've got an event here. Uh, for Slavered, Fanatical, or Learning. I think Learning is probably the way to go. There are some pretty important technologies that are still a little out of reach. Man, that's going even lower now. Huh.
Well, the Palisades are coming in six turns. I guess I could technically buy that out. I'm actually making really good gold for doing a food challenge. I'm going to buy those out. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach this. Get that expansion a star. And that... Another 20. I'm tempted to just go ahead and attach this and then yeah, work from the deficit back up. And then we're only one more away from another expansionist star. Which we should be able to get pretty easily once we get this army out. We can come up here and claim this territory. Get that silk online. Then come over here, maybe get that iron and that lead. Oh, there's a peaceful army over there running about. That's fine. Um, in here, I guess there's really not much else to do for stability right away. We'll build a public fountain to get the growth going well, and then I guess I'll look around. Yeah, we haven't really built that many districts in here just at all. So, I guess we'll just put Garrison up there because it's... <laughs> High ground and defensible, and that'll give it, give us a little bit of stability. And I don't really know what else to do in the short term, but there is a scientist star. That's good. Uh, we've got a grievance available. What do you want now? We will renounce that. Okay, up here, I definitely want a Nemeton. Uh, let's queue up a couple of them, actually. Get one down here. And we'll get one right there. That'll cost us some stability, but I definitely want all that food and all those worker slots. Plus, it should be helping Faith as well. And uh, let's see... Are there any... Yeah, there is... There's some food tenants. There's some food on coastal... Coastal water and lakes. That's that's actually pretty good with how much coast we have to work with. So I definitely want to get to that. It's another grievance. You have my oh. ear. Yeah, I can definitely renounce that. Got the standing army, so we've got our unique available. We could actually upgrade these warriors. Oh, to swordsmen, not to our unique, though. <laughs> you know what? I think I will upgrade those warriors. Again, just in case. These are these are my border guards, so they need to be well equipped. You should listen to this. He wants open borders. There is some merit in this. I think I'm actually going to counter that. Because I don't want him coming through and claiming that unclaimed land I have to my north. I can go for that. If you might... Fuel or spectacle. Uh, we can get overproductive or patriotic. Let's go for the cheaper industry cost. At pay for it with a little bit of gold. Because we are about to be building units in here. Oh, we're actually starting with warriors. <laughs> Those didn't auto-upgrade to swordsmen. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's take all of these off of there. Let's start with these guys. And then get a couple of archers. That'll be better. Oh, we're getting close to a bunch of stars here. Close to an agrarian, close to a builder, close to a merchant, close to an expansionist. All of that is doable. Okay. Stability, faith, or industry. I guess let's go for industry. Okay. 
Got the fortifications. That's going to be good. I want to come down here and queue up stone walls after this garrison. You know what? I'm going to pay the 53 to get started on those now. And then, okay, iron mine. We will do that. We will do that. And we're at 20 of 20, so we don't really want to do that here. We're at the cap here as well. We're way over the cap here. Um, hmm. Where would that be coming from here? One from Axum, one from Akkad, one from... Okay, so I'd only be getting one from my own city. But I'd be gaining four population. I kind of still want to do this, even though it'll take me over the, the limit temporarily. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, now we're starving. <laughs> we're, yeah, we went way over our, our food limit, and we can't sustain it. <laughs> Uh, let's get one of these queued up. Uh, we'll start over there. Oh, and now we're going to even lower stability. I might wait a few turns until this is more reasonable to buy out. I think I might do it, like, right before I'm about to lose population anyway. Grievance, you have something to say. which I will renounce. Oh, Got to Hydrology. That's another good one for us. What are we working on next? Conquest. Okay. Got a Builder Star. Oh. He wants open borders again. I have a proposal for you. I'll yes, go ahead and just I accept that. The we'll be friends. I want to go ahead and wait. Okay, up here we have gotten everything we need. So let's let's come to this territory. See see where they want me to claim if there's any suggestions. No. Ten six nine eight. Let's just go right there. It'll be fine. Okay, down here, we are... Okay, that, that's a different city. This is also over our limit, but we're still growing. Um, so really, the thing to do would be to build, like, a farmer's quarter. Because that'll get our, our limit up. I may want to consider some, like, maker's quarters or... Uh, market quarters, because all of those will increase our population limit. There's no good maker's quarters. Uh, there is a plus eight market quarter, though. That's not bad. I will key one of those up, just to diversify a little bit. Then, up here, we're still well over our population limit, but we are still technically growing, so... Um... I suppose it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to just pump out some more of these guys and then go get aggressive with our neighbors. But I kinda don't want to do that this time around. We can build a farmer's quarter. We can get stone walls to offset the stability. And do we have any good garrisons? There's a plus. Five. Yeah, the plus 15s are all going to take away really good districts. Yeah, there aren't any really good garrisons up here just just yet K 
Okay, now you guys come over here, claim this territory. We got a merchant star. We're close to science, close to a steed again. We're about to get an expansionist. We're about to about to do that. I forgot to buy out the walls here, so let's do that. Get the city back to settled uh, population-wise. And... Hmm. Do you have any good non-farmer's quarters? Not really. There is a plus eight market quarter next to the dock. That's still gonna cost stability though and I'd rather be gaining it I think it might be time to work on this uh wonder they want me to put that there okay yeah it's much better here that's closer to more uh okay there's a 15 there yeah let's do that okay but we'll do that after all of this in fact, you know what, I've got the gold, I'll buy out that iron mine just to speed the process up a little bit. I don't want to buy out the nematon, because that'll take me to pretty low. There is a scientist star. Okay, we can get less money or less food, we'll go with less money. Then I want you guys to claim this territory. There's a lot of food right where I'm standing. There's even more just over there. A lot of industry over that way. Let's go for the food. Uh, they want me to age up. I'm not going to do that just yet. We're waiting on some stars. We are hanging out in second place, but it's a really close race. It is really close just across the board. Yeah, the difference between 1st and 6th is only 600. That's like 2 stars. You know, depending on which ones you're getting. I think. Is that right? Now that I've said it? Yeah, I mean, that would be worth like 300. That would be worth 100. That would be worth 300. So it's like 2 high-level stars. So like, if I would get this Agrarian and that Scientist star, that'd be about 600. Yeah, we're only making five food here now. What with all the population we have to sustain. So we definitely need to get this online. You know what? Now that it's cheaper, I am going to buy that out. Now we're making good food in here. Well, better food. I definitely want to get another one of those online, though. And I think I do want to get that before the wonder. Okay, and then you guys can just, I guess, well, might as well come claim this territory, just for kicks, just to get it outposted. Okay, uh, that's going to really hurt my stability in the capital, but I think I have to do this. I want that expansion of star. There we go. That rockets me into first by <laughs> a really weird amount. How did I get such an awkward amount of fame? Huh. But yeah, I'm just barely in first by about 25. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's definitely you know what, let's buy out that farmer quarter so that we can get to work on walls ASAP. I could always come back for that discovery after I'm done. I don't want to forget that that's there. That's probably worth, like, some money or some influence or maybe some science or something. Still gaining population. I like to see that. And... I 
let's go right there. That's the most food. And we are likely not going to uh, attach these up just yet. I mean, that one we could technically attach here to take some of the load off the capital. I was talking about maybe making them their own city, but I guess I've crossed that bridge already. I wasn't thinking about that. I just wanted that expansion to star. I got, uh, <laughs> got blinded by the lure of that shiny expansion of star, and I wasn't thinking. But we are inching towards an estate that I definitely want, and we just lost first. Yeah, like I said, we're, we're just going star for star with everybody right now. So it's... It's just a neck-and-neck neck race across the board. It kind of makes me want to... How much for... Uh, 13 for a militarist star? I would have to probably kill both of these independent peoples to get that. And, you know, whatever armies they have posted. You know what, let's come back up here for this one first. We will get those discoveries. We're gaining population, research conquest, glide, science investing. Let's go for science investing. Got a grievance you have something to say. that we will renounce. It would be. We're down to third, and then back up to first with our Estite Star. <laughs> oh, we found, a uh, Explorers. Okay. Wonder what that was. Uh, but we'll come back down here. I think there was one, like, right there, was it? I don't quite remember. I'll be able to see it once I'm in the area, though. Okay, but now I have to look very seriously about maybe aging up, because it would be three more for an expansion of Star. Hmm. I guess what I could do. What I could do. That's one, two, three. If I took this city, that's only four population, though. So that's only four kills for a militarist. Yeah. That's only four population as well, so that's the same deal. And they're also peaceful. So I don't know if they're going to have an army handy to, to maybe take out. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Reasonably. Because while I'm doing that, I'd be gaining these stars. One of those is pretty valuable. That expansionist would be 306. This would be 102. And I guess I could still be working on my agrarian, the final agrarian, while I do that. But that would basically be about it. Or I could age up and start getting these all from their low levels again. This is one of those crossroads where I'm not really sure what the optimal play is. What are the next era's agrarian sieves? Is there one that I super duper want? Let's look around. Food per number of territories in your sphere of influence on all cities. That's good because we've been spreading our influence with our with our neighbor. I, I, I know he's been getting civics backlashes because we've been doing that. So that would be pretty darn good. But then this counts as a commons quarter. Ah, stability stability we've been suffering on so we could we could we could get back up on top of stability with that so that actually seems pretty good uh what are some of the other ones the the kamai aren't an agrarian but they do have food in their it's part of their wheelhouse we get seven food per number of attached territories on cities that would be similar if not greater than the food we'd get from that 
uh, other civilization we just looked at. And then they also get food and counts as a farmer quarter on their unique. Plus, we'd be getting some industry along the way. Or, there's the English, we get industry and farmer's quarters. So that just gives them a dual purpose, basically. And then their stronghold is worth some food. It's also worth some stability. It's fortified. Counts as a farmer's quarter and gives us some vision range. Okay, so between the first one and the English, I think I'm leaning maybe towards the English. The other one was worth more stability, but I... It was also worth more food, but I don't know. I mean, doubling up on all of our farmer's quarters and getting industry out of all of them will help us get things up faster. But if I'm thinking that way, then maybe going for the Kamai, getting the... Getting food from that, getting food from that, getting industry from this could be the way to go. But then, this is costing me more stability, and I'm not getting any back. So I think I might want to go for one of the other two. I might want to go for the English or the... Who was it? The Taino. This would basically only be worth the food from its ability... It'd be worth a bunch of stability, so I'd be getting Builder Stars off of that, but I wouldn't be growing as fast as if I chose one of the other sieves. Like, if I chose this, these still count as Farmer's Quarters, so they're getting all those bonuses from things that count as Farmer's Quarters, Adjacency, and they're gaining food. I'm not getting food from my unique trait, but... I am getting food from this. I am getting stability from this. Longbowmen are pretty cool. Plus, going from the Celts to the English is <laughs> kind of thematically more in line, but uh, that doesn't really weigh into my decision at all. I just realized it. <laughs> um, I do think I'm leaning towards the English here. I, I do think I am. The Kamai, I would take in a heartbeat if I had the stability, and I knew I had the stability, to sustain a bunch of berets, because those are really good. Those would be getting me food and industry at a really good rate. But this will get me food, industry, and stability at moderate rates, and I really need that stability added into the mix. So I think I'm going to go with the English. And I think I am going to pull the trigger now. I'm in the lead... I don't feel like I can get any other stars reasonably quickly or without great cost. And I think by the time I did all that, anybody that's lapped me into the next era would probably be getting more stars than me there and probably pass me up. That's just what I think. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to adopt the English. Wisdom... And only time will tell if I made the right call aging up now. But there we are. With the English, we've reached the medieval era. Let's go ahead and finish out a turn here. Land rights. Okay. Food for attached territories. And what did that take us towards? Industry. Okay. That's another thing we're actually pretty good at because we're Focusing on it in most of our cities. Plus, we just got a boost on it to all of our farmers' quarters as the English. Um, wow, I am low on stability in here. Let's not build that market quarter. Let's let's get up a stronghold instead. Let's queue up a several of these because those are worth stability. Yeah, like I said, I just did not have the stability to be able to go for anything other than the English here. And, oh, those are coming out quick. Oh, it's because I had some uh, industry saved up that I had built into the other thing. And then I guess get to work on the wonder after that. Um, oh, I do have my affinity back as well, but I don't think there's any place that can reasonably sustain it. Yeah. I think the capital would be the most capable with all the food it's producing, but it's still way over its limit. I'll just have to keep that in my back pocket for now. 
I'm going to buy these walls out to get that stability back up. I'm going to get a couple of strongholds here across from each other, and then I guess the other one could go there. You know what? That's only 308. I'll buy one of those out. Build the other ones. The old-fashioned way. Yeah. Okay. So... With that, I'll call that a turn. Uh, we... We're in first, as of right now. Only by about 30, but we're in first. <laughs> yeah, it is a really close race. Again, the difference between me and last place is only a couple of stars, if they're high-level stars. So, yeah, that's, that's just how it is. It's a really competitive game. Uh, but I think we're doing quite well. Uh, we're living up to our food challenge. I mean, we're hitting some walls on it. We're... <laughs> We're going to need to build more districts, but in order to do that, we're going to have to fight back on our stability. But we are with a civilization that can do that. So, so there. <laughs> and yeah, I will go ahead and call it there. I will say I will see you guys next time. Later.